What's up, YouTube? Jonathan here in the Trumpet Dungeon. Welcome to Donald's Trumpets Vintage Horns. Hmm, Donald's Trumpets, eh? You might say Donald's Trumpets. I don't know if I like this guy, but mm, nah. It's a little bit less sinister than that. Hmm, how do I say this? My dad, Donald, God rest his soul, when he passed, left me a lot of really cool vintage horns. Mwah. Didn't kiss it for real. But uh, so, hence the name Donald Trumpets. So what I've been doing uh, with this channel, which was created in my dad's honor to catalog all of these beautiful, wonderful instruments as they're slowly sold to the marketplace, is to take them one by one, whether before they're listed or as they're getting ready to head out the door, and catalog them. So welcome to my channel. You better go ahead and subscribe if you've seen any of these other videos and you haven't subscribed yet. Shame on you. But you're still my friend and you can still come and hang around. Uh, what are we looking at today? Well, we are looking at an Amati Crassless or Crassless flugelhorn. So Amati Crassless is a name that is not very uh, well known in the United States. I think they're from Czechoslovakia. And, uh, and yeah, they're, I mean, it's definitely not the top of the line instrument by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also a really nice horn. Uh, they make some really good trumpets, uh, some flugelhorns uh, on a budget as well. That's the key, right? Budget. So uh, I've, I've had a chance to play this one. I'm not really a flugelhorn player. And in fact, I've only been playing trumpet for about five months now, since uh, April or so of this year. So, you know, still starting to uh, expand my, my universe, my repertoire, and find out what I like. So uh, not really a fair comparison, but I'm gonna play a ditty on this one and then we'll compare it to, uh, let's do a Martin Committee cornet. Uh, softer, supposed to be softer sounding uh, instrument on the cornet. And let's see what we uh, what we come up with. I will say before I recorded this video, I, I played a couple notes on this horn and it's definitely got a, a good sound to it. Uh, but let's play through some of the registers and see what we come up with. Uh, playing my favorite, not really my favorite, but one of the only ones I know. And that's When I Fall in Love, originally Frank Sinatra, but I'll be trying my, my uh, rendition of Chris Bode's version too. So without further ado, let's get into this one. I'm playing on, uh, I believe this is a flugelhorn mouthpiece this time and not a trumpet mouthpiece. Oh, this is a one and a half uh, Frank. So uh, I'm assuming F is for flugelhorn. So let's give it a whirl, see what we got. <clears throat> Pretty good, uh, pretty good tune there. So let's jump on this committee, see what we think. It's 1960, little cornet here. <laughs> Flugelhorns seem to have this like resonance that just seems to just surround you with sound. So let's do this though. Dollar for dollar, if I had my shot, 
I would probably go with the flugelhorn. Uh, no joke, you can get these things really cheap. And especially if you find one in as good of condition as this. Look at this thing here. Just beautiful. I don't know what the year is. This is probably a lot newer than my dad's other horns. I wouldn't consider this vintage per se. But a uh, great instrument. <clears throat> uh, beautiful sound. Ah, uh, well, I spoke too soon there. So, again, this is not about my playing, right? This is about the horns and the horns alone. Playing will get better over time, but, uh, you know. Before I embarrass myself any further, I would like to ask you to subscribe one more time. Yeah, it makes me feel special. You want to make somebody feel special today? Hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.